Hello guys, welcome back to Mornings with Granny. I hope you're having a good day. I have some mail here, and then I got a short haul from the thrift store. Nothing exciting, so maybe it won't bore you too much. This is from Rita, and Rita lives in Michigan. Thank you, Rita. And I also heard from Janine, and Janine is in Washington. It's hard to believe Halloween is over and Thanksgiving is around the corner. This one is from Sari. Sari's been with me a long time. Sari's in Pennsylvania. How cute. Thank you. And then I heard from someone in Georgia, and it's Sue and Steve, and they are starting a YouTube channel. It's called A Couple of Boomers. So check them out. It said that they are frugal and they do, they show affordable activities to do with grandchildren. And they also share hikes and areas that they are exploring in Georgia. So check them out. I'll definitely check you out. Thank you so much. All right. We went to two thrift stores. The only thing mom got was she wanted a little calculator about that big. It was 49 cents. I got that for her. And uh, that was it for her. But I, you know my weak spot is books. I bought 32 books. Now, I did not spend but $7.30 for everything. So I'll show you what I got. But I got 32 books. I had just told my granddaughter, she's got this book. I said, when you finish it, I want to read it. And then I found it for a quarter. So I got it. Let's see if I can reach them. They're down here on the floor. And then I also got this one from my aunt. This was a quarter also. She likes to read her, <clears throat> excuse me, books. Uh, I don't think I've ever read Robin Carr. But I got it for her. All these I'm showing you up till I change um, to the next box or a quarter each. This is I See You. And this one is The Lake. Isn't there a movie called The Lake? I mean, I don't know if it's the same thing. But it sounded good. And this one is Dean Koontz. I haven't read his books in a long time, but this was three in one called Frankenstein. It says Prodigal Son, City of Night, and Dead and Alive for a quarter. So that one, it says one, two, three. I'm trying to make sure I get the right ones. And then I got this one, and I think this was a movie on Netflix because my daughter and I watched it a couple months ago. The woman in the window, I think, I want to say Amy Adams was in it. So that sounded good. And then this one is A Thread of Grace. And then my daughter and I have been watching the Big Sky series when I visit her on Hulu. And it's based on C.J. Box's books. And I found one of the books, so I got it. So we'll see how it goes. If I like it, I'll look for some more. All right, that was that store. Now, when I went to the next store, I picked up this little, it's actually a metal measuring cup, but I thought it would be just right to melt butter without using the microwave. And uh, it was 80 cents. I wish they had had the whole set, but they didn't. So I picked it up. The way thrift stores are, I might go in there next time, and they got the uh, rest of them out. So anyway, I got that for 80 cents. Now, I bought... 24 books at that store. They were six for a dollar, so I spent four dollars on books at that store. Now this dust jacket is a little worn, but it doesn't matter. It's Harlan Coben. I haven't read his in a long time. This is Play Dead. He has a couple of uh, limited series on Netflix that are good. So I watched those and I liked them. That one, these books were like 17 cents a piece. 
Jane Ann Krentz, The Vanishing. And this is Thomas Grinius, The Promised War. I've never heard of him, but sounded good. I like James Rollins, and he, it says that he's uh, uh, lightning paced, dagger shot, sharp, and brilliantly executed by James Rollins. So maybe that's a good sign. Now, I'm not going to pull out the other 21, not all of them, but I'm going to show you what I got. Crossword puzzle books. They had 21 new crossword puzzle books. I like doing crossword puzzles. My grandmother did crossword puzzles for years, and she lived to be 97, and she pretty much, her mind was, what am I trying to say, sharp, up to like the last year. And uh, her health started failing, so her mind was getting just a little, little bit bad, but not too much. But anyway, she loved doing crossword puzzles, and I do them. So I got 21 new crossword puzzle books. Those will last me for over a year, and of course I'll share some too. But that's, that's it. I am still trying to get rid of plastic. I had a lot of good comments on uh, that last video. And uh, some people that had already done it, and I mean by done it as getting rid of their plastic. Some people that were going to look uh, further into it and get rid of theirs, maybe. And then some that said, you know, it's just everywhere. And it is everywhere, but we can try to cut down on it. I downloaded an app on my phone this morning that I heard about. It's EWG, Environmental Working Group. And it's free on the Google Play Store, you can download it. And you can scan your products. I will show you, but I can't. I'm filming on my phone. So you can scan the product and it'll come up and, and tell you what's bad in that product. And it's got like a, I think it's a one to 10 rating. The higher numbers being in the red, don't use it. The lower numbers being green, you can use it safely. So you might want to check that out. Um, I just downloaded it this morning, so the only thing I've scanned is a bottle of lotion. That was it. So, I'm looking forward to walking around the house scanning things. But, it's just amazing that uh, what I'm finding out that uh, we've got in our house that is toxic. I didn't realize there were so many items that were toxic. It um, kind of opens your eyes to... You know, it's like, where have I been all these years? Why didn't I know this? But I might be a little slow to the game, but I'm learning. I'm still reading up on stuff. And I plan to do a video on the vitamins. And I also want to do one on bio sludge. But my next video is on making laundry detergent because my aunt brought the stuff over for me to make her some laundry detergent. I've got everything in there ready to make it. I just got to sit down and make the video as I do it. All right, guys, I'm going to quit talking and I let Gizmo out for a little bit. I need to go get him in. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope I didn't bore you too much with all these books. I'm excited, very excited. All right, guys, have a good day. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe.